my background is actually not, not related to the, to the oil industry. I am an aeronautical engineer by, 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 by academic background. And the way I, way I, was, uh, I moved into BP was to become a reservoir engineer due to uh, my knowledge of physics. And one of the things that uh, in the oil industry you need, you, need, you need to do is understand how, how uh, multi-phase uh, physical flows op operate uh, in reservoirs and through the wells into, into the facilities. As you can see, I went all the way from, uh, from the earth to, to the skies and I'm now back down um, sub, 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 sub sea level um, work in the oil industry. For me, the great thing about my career is getting involved in, uh, in, uh, in a big project in Angola, the Greater Plutonium Project, which is a, a mega subsea development uh, with fields offshore Angola, 30 kilometers apart from, from one another. It was really great to get involved in that. Um, I, I knew that BP was making a great investment in Angola, not just on, on, um, on, uh, in terms of natural resources, but also in terms of the human resources. So for me, it was kind of a way to get into the industry and also an opportunity to go back to Angola because I had been living in the UK at the time. The future is uh, it's all about deepening my technical skills in my area of reservoir engineering, and I'll, and, I, and I'll need to continue to do that for the next few years. But it also, for me, it involves kind of making a difference with people. So leading a team and making sure I, I, I provide the necessary know-how of the company and also that I kind of understand what, what, are, what are the cultural ramifications of, uh, of the day-to-day -day job and what they do and what makes them think. And for me, it's all about kind of making a difference and delivering that through people.